Hello everyone, Roy again. Last week I showed you how I made my lamp from nothing but scraps for the Made Podcast Lamp Build-Off Challenge. If you'd like to see how this was made, there'll be a link in your upper right and you can see how I put this together from nothing but scraps. Now I'd like to show you what my friends at the podcast made for their versions of the lamp for this challenge. Hi folks, good morning. So we are doing the Made Lighting Challenge and we are going to be showing you our different types of lighting that we have been working on. Let me tell you about my my particular one. All right, so Jose and I went to um, Black Dog Savage in um, Roanoke, Virginia. So during our trip, we found this particular lighting fixture. It's a theater style light, and it's reminiscent of the Times Square lighting. And um, what we did is it has, it already had some pieces in it, and you'll see the video it'll have pictures in it and um so I removed all of the existing lighting pieces inside it and I had to rewire it um, basically comes like this so I cleaned it up made it nice and pretty um, make sure that you know I, I did not want to repaint it or do anything I wanted to keep it the way that um, it's you know used look then I um, found this mesh product It's just um, went to a hardware store and just did some great or meshy metal, heavy metal, and just cut it to a circle. And uh, so the other big part is uh, I upcycle these different types of cords from IKEA um, lamps that we had laying around. So you have like you know you go to IKEA and you use these lamps and you just have them laying around and you don't use them anymore, or even you just have to run around your your neighborhood. You know if you go out for a run, you'll see somebody trashing a lamp. Just pick one of those up and you already have your, your pieces already from that. And then you just rewire them. You just take them out, you just cut the pieces. And this is basically two parts, two IKEA lamps. This is from a, um, a pendant lamp, right? And you can take it out. And this one has a switch. So it was very simple to do. Um, and I totally enjoyed doing the project. It's nice and done now. And, and um, the next part is... Hi everyone, so you just saw Claudia's lighting project. So now I'm going to show you my lighting project. Um, I started the base for my lighting project with this old enlarger, this photo enlarger that I had gotten, gosh, like five years back, six years back, maybe even more. I sort of got it from an old, from a friend that was a photographer and he was teaching photography at the time. This is a really vintage um, enlarger. As you can see on the front here, it says, uh, made in West Berlin, that's how old this is. Um, so I decided I'm gonna, it does, it, well it could function as an enlarger still, nobody's ever gonna use it as a photo enlarger. Photo enlarger by the way, which shoot down the photo here and then you would put the photo paper and develop the photo after that. But since it, nobody's gonna ever use it for that anymore, I decided to make it into a light fixture. I basically took out all the guts of the enlarger itself out, including the lens, and I took out the top panel as well, I got, uh, you can remove that here, I got an ex a light, I got a pendant light from Ikea and inserted it where the old light bulb went for the enlarger, it used to just be a light bulb that would project the light down through the lens. I also cut out some plastic here to make it at the top and create a little bit of a glow. So this light fixture now, not only projects light down where you can have an object here, but it also shines up above. I salvaged the switch from the old extension cord that was here that could no longer be used. So now you can switch it on and off, it's not plugged in. But uh, yeah, and then the light moves up and down on this rail. You can see it, so it's adjustable that way. You can also mess with the lens so you can focus this light here in and out. And so it's an old salvage project, simple, straight to the point, quick and easy, anybody could do this. A little bit of wiring. A little bit of taking apart and you have a new light fixture. I'm going to finish it off by painting the wood base and maybe putting one of my photographs on it. And that's it. That's my light fixture. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed both my lighting project and Claudia's lighting project. So make sure you guys check out all the videos. Listen to this next coming podcast where we're going to talk about all of our lighting projects. And we're going to give you guys a chance to vote as to which lighting project you like the best. So we're going to put a link to Ray's video, let's say right about here somewhere and watch all of them. Come to the May Podcast. Thanks so much. Good.
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching my friends at the Made Podcast and their version of the lamps for this lamp build-off challenge. I think they came up with some very clever solutions for utilizing some items they already had around the house. If you had a favorite lamp, please let me know in the comments down below. I do read them all and I will respond. I've included links to the Made Podcast SoundCloud account where you can download the podcast and listen to any one of the episodes that we've recorded. You can also find links to the, the Made Podcast Facebook page and website in the description of this video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, make a comment, let me know which lamp you liked best, and subscribe to the channel while you're here to stay up to date on all my future videos.